So this is Spock's ship. So so Kelvin Spock, young Spock, encounters the ship from old Spock from regular time uh, timeline, and uh, it's just a super cool ship. The design of the ship is far more advanced than I had anticipated. Voice print and face recognition analysis. Welcome back, Ambassador Spock. Oh, that's weird. That's cute. Computer. <laughs> I like that. What is your Stardate manufacturing origin? Stardate 2387. Commissioned by the Vulcan Science Academy. You're gonna be able to fly this thing, right? Something tells me I already have. Okay. Super cool chair. I want this chair. It does not look comfortable. For Spock's, for Spock's super tight, never relaxing posture. Yeah. Look at this cool ship. It has like this so mini cool. guys and like a jet mm -hmm. on the back. Looks like a squid. So yeah, the ship is like, is like an entrance, a yeah. cargo bay, and then a tube, a tube that's mm -hmm. like that, that where you walk to the captain's chair. Yeah. And really, that's it. Like, the ship does not need to have lots of stuff. It's just exactly what it needs. Very elegant. And yeah, even, even where the pilot sh sits, <laughs> even where the pilot sits, it's like out here in front. And yeah, you're going to lose some line of sight to the side of the ship, mm -hmm. but you've shoved the pilot away in the front. They can see a pretty large angle. So you, the pilot probably has very good awareness of what's around them. Yeah, right. So his, his, his cone of vision is pretty, pretty large. Right. So it's kind of cool. Super cool ship. And I guess the cargo bay is built entirely around the red matter. Mm -hmm. Like it's specifically designed to... I guess to hold something of that size. <laughs> but I'm thinking not only that size, but probably that specific thing. Maybe. Right? Is that right? Or do you think this is just a an, any old cargo container and they just put the red matter in there? Gosh, the that, red matter is... Really? That's my, that's my hunch because, they, because old Spock said like we've rushed, we got our ship together or something right. you, you see them doing it so they probably didn't design a ship around it i guess i guess if they did if they did take like like if romulus was like we need help and, and vulcans are like eh, give us like a couple of years to r&d a ship <laughs> like okay if that happened i understand when nero would be angry i figured they just took an old ship whatever ship they had around and then repurposed it and shoved a shoved the red matter in there but that, mean, that would mean when nero is angry he's like following the development of the rescue mission like there's delays because there's a committee meeting about which you, you design would have had we should to have go known. for. That's right. Actually, so if if that's the case, he should be rushing, you know, evacuations. Oh, but he's a denialist. So then, why is he following the ship design? <laughs> post facto, post facto. Uh, well, maybe he looked it up after it happened. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Cool ship, though. Cool ship. Weird, like squiddy vibe to it. Yeah. 